As a young girl growing up in Barcelona, I was always drawing, playing music, dancing, and I had an imaginary production company called Estel Fugaz, which is Catalan for shooting star. That's why it was only fitting to give my actual production company the name of Fugaz now. Back then, I would enlist my siblings to be actors in my plays, and I took it so seriously. We would have long rehearsals, a script, choreography, wardrobe changes, and a backstage. And since then, art has become both a way of play and a way of survival. After living in the United States for a decade now and becoming the first American citizen in my family, I constantly navigate the complexities of my multicultural identity, my heritage, and my reality as a woman, as a female artist in a male-dominated industry, and an immigrant turned new citizen. My recent work is focused on cultural preservation and on envisioning hope, unity, and agency to foster social transformation. I love to tell stories that reflect the nuances of a culture but that are universal at the core. And I'm interested in exploring the thread that binds our human experience while reflecting on themes of spirituality, identity, and collective memory. My process is heavily guided by intuition and it's almost like a spiritual journey. To me, being an artist in a way is being a bridge between the world as we know it and the unknown, the invisible, the timeless, the possible. So remaining curious, open and vulnerable is oftentimes difficult, but very, very necessary. Collaborating with individuals from different walks of life is one of the most important things for me and an amazing way to grow as a professional and as a person. My latest film, Alua Nunca Morre, included professionals from Brazil, the US, Spain, Japan, Germany, South Africa, Italy, and the Dominican Republic. And I feel that this cross-cultural collaboration contributed to a more layered and more universal piece. My time in Nigeria inspired my mixed media series, Nigeria Nights, and being part of the Brazilian dance community in the US for years was the starting point to my film, Amens Entre Dois Mundos. My next project is based in my mother's hometown in rural Catalonia, and it explores the concept of otherness by two women, a Catalan expat who returns home, and a daughter of immigrants who is born in Spain but treated as a second-class citizen because of her heritage. Art is a powerful tool to remind us of our humanity, to reimagine the past and to envision shared futures. The more voices we can add to the conversation, the more diverse these voices, the richer our understanding of the world around us. In a world where we have so many strings trying to pull us apart, I want my work to serve as an unapologetic reminder of unity, oneness, and love. If people watch my films or see my work and they leave feeling a bit more free, a bit more connected, a bit more powerful, that's the most important thing.